Right, a shalom makim. Uh, first, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles, our elders, the great millstone who taught us his truth. Uh, peace and blessings to you. I came out there pushing his word. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash, brought a thumb to all the hopeful elect, you know, the house of David. All right, we got a couple of brothers. We, uh, as always, you know, through the spirit, uh, we're able to do the, the uh, after camp show. You know, keep that spirit moving. You know, the spirit is moving heavy. You know, brothers staying in the spirit because we're starting to see that these prophecies are coming to pass. And the closer and closer that we get to the end, the more and more you got to be in the spirit. Mm -hmm. This know? is it's like it. This is pretty much extra credit work. You know, what we do on the highways and hedges. That's 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 our that's the work. OK. And this is extra credit. You know, you at school, you know, you do you do work and then you do extra credit work because you want you want to get you I mean, you might have been you might have had a B you want that B to get a B plus you put in extra credit work or S assignments or you want an A plus or you just want to excel you know excel for the Lord in this in this sense so it's yeah. extra credit yeah because even you graduate and you graduate with extra credits mm -hmm. you know you're like hey I man you don't even need those extra credits but yet you can still graduate with and, those and extra credits and that and that's you uh that's you storing up treasures straight up can can we get that yeah Matthew say Matthew yep. 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 Uh, that's you uh storing up them treasures in heaven. You, you know, because our mind, our body, is, our our mind is, is is not here. You know, our physical body is here, but we have mortified. We have mortified our members, meaning to we we slayed our members, that inward man, and we continue to what be our conversations continually in heaven, because mm -hmm. that's what we're pushing towards. You know, and, and go ahead. Oh uh, no, I was gonna say like the scriptures say the outward man die um it dies perishes day by day. And the I was the outward man. It's pertaining to the the lust the of the flesh. flesh. It's pertaining so the, to the flesh. So the that the lust of the flesh is dying off more and more as you're growing more and more and focusing on it in spirit. And your actual flesh is dying away, man. You, we're, this flesh is dying, dude. You know, hey man, that's why the Lord had to cut the time short, man. Ain't gonna be no flesh to be saved. The Lord got to hey man. The Lord literally has to take us out of this flesh. You know, that's the new bodies. Go ahead. It's Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasure upon earth. Yeah, where treasure upon earth. You know, and that's what the, that's what uh, that's what the whole world is, is all around uh, revolved around. It's about laying up your, for yourself treasures upon the earth, meaning riches upon the earth. OK, go ahead. Where moth and rust doth corrupt. Yeah, where moth and rust does corrupt, meaning the things that you buy in this earth, in this world, it deteriorates. It devalues. You buy a car, it devalues. Mm. You buy a house, it devalues. You get a woman, it devalues. It's not a woman of a possession. Okay, everything, everything uh, in this world, everything in this world uh, devalues. And, and, and it's and, all, and it's all used goods. Slot, yep. Kind of no, it's like it. Slot, and slot then, slot and and you gotta. Can we get that in Second Peter's three? Mm -hmm. What what manner of man shall you be? Because all this mm -hmm. is going to be dissolved. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're not going to lay uh, uh, lay our treasures. Upon the earth where moth and rust does corrupt. Okay, continue. Slakia, did you, you wanted to say Slakia? No, that's all I wanted to say, Slakia. Slakia. And where thieves break through and steal. Where mm -hmm. thieves break through and steal. You lay up, you used to lay up yourself uh, uh, treasures here. Okay, even if you put them in a bank account. All right, uh, Esau can come raid your bank account. He can he can stop it. All right, you you can get a uh, uh, fraud. Okay, you bills can come. Okay. Uh, it's, it's very easy for you to become broke when you have become rich. Mm -hmm. And this is a story that has played uh, uh, in the planet Earth over and over, over and over, man. All right. People people lose a lot of riches, you know. That's that's why our mind is not here on, on um, in the Earth. Our mind is in heaven, man. Our spirit is in heaven. That's why we're like the brother was saying that extra credit. OK, because the scriptures do say about uh, 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 we we have, we are still unprofitable servants. OK. At the same time, the most high, he said, I. He is not un he is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there is a reward for the things that you do. I got a precept if hey, you go don't. Ahead, bro. This is right. Uh, this is for you. This is uh First Timothy six and seventeen. Charge them that are rich in this world mm -hmm. that yep. that they be not high minded. Yeah, be not high minded because you it ain't nothing wrong about having money. The scriptures talk about money being a defense, but those that are that are rich in this world. Okay, go ahead. That's right. It says, charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high minded. That they be not high minded because that money, that money can puff you up because you're able what you're able to uh, uh, enjoy the pleasures and the, really the lust of this world. Because really what that money does, it just opens you up to to do more wickedness. Ultimately, or you get a good, you get a, a better car, you buy a better car, you get a better house, uh, finer women come. 
Okay, more pro more more money, more problems, man. God. Okay, so you're not supposed to be high minded if you do have money. We we're, we're we're supposed to be laying up our money in in heaven, all right? Because the, the Lord said, I I go and prepare a place for you. Okay, in my in my Father's house there are many mansions. Meaning, when when the kingdom of heaven is opened up to us, we're gonna receive all those riches that we once wanted. We're gonna receive all the women that we want that we want. Okay, not on this side. We're not gonna get that on this side. Yeah. All right, because why? You're going to have to sell out to be, get that on this side. Are you going to become a sodomite? You got to sell out to the so-called white man? And you got to ultimately go straight from your power and, and worship Satan. And it's all going to be defiled at the end of the day. There ain't going to be no virgin, no untouched woman, no untouched this, no untouched that. It's all going to be yeah, tainted. Too. You know? Mm -hmm. We gave up everything in this life so that we can obtain sevenfold in the kingdom. Yep. You know? Way, way more than what we what we given up. We have not only have we gave up, we we didn't, number one we don't have anything here, man. Oh my God. Okay, the little that we did give up, pretty much all we did, what, what we're doing is we're making our life a living sacrifice now, according to Romans, the twelfth chapter. Mm -hmm. All right, because you don't you don't have anything. What what the what the fuck do you have here in, in America? Hey, King Solomon, which which is really Yahweh Shai, he said, he said, hey man, he had it, he had it all. Yeah. All right, he was. The richest king, man. He said it's all vanity. Yep. vanity. And he had and he had all that wisdom too. Yeah, yep. that's how he knew it was vanity, because he, he had the wisdom yep, to understand exactly. it's nothing. This it's is nothing. Nothing, all right. Nothing compared to, to what? the kingdom. To the kingdom. God, there you go. God. So everything, that's why all the prophets, that's why all the men of the Lord, they were kept asking that same continual question. Is Ooh. it this time will thou restore the kingdom to Israel? Because why? Everything else this. is vanity, man. We see that. Because everything is going to pass away. Done. Okay. Finish that real fast, Baba Kashaw, on right there. And I want to lead back to it because this, it, this is a Done. break together. I just want you to finish that point. Okay. Baba Kashaw. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt. Yeah, Esau mm -hmm. can't go in there and raid it. Or right, he can't shut it down. Because right, your works are going to follow you, whether they be righteous or whether they be wicked. Right, and we are in a, we are in that straight gate according to Matthew the seventh chapter. We're trying to we're trying to go on that straight gate and try to uh, receive the kingdom, man. We want the kingdom. We want that penny. Oh, uh, we've been doing all we've been doing this work, okay? Are uh, you you want the, you want the, you, you went to your profession and you've been putting in hell of hours and you want to get paid afterwards, man? So we're we're trying to get paid. We're trying to get paid from Yahweh Shemal Shai, okay? Now not only are we doing this because we were told to do this, but the Lord. The Lord told us to do it, and he was going to give us a, 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 a righteous reward. So we're looking for that righteous reward. We're not looking for a fucking kingdom here, man, right. with these dirty, defiled-ass fucking whores, okay? You got sodomites everywhere. You got the so-called white man over you, or you got a fucking job, okay? The so-called white man, he can tell you where, when to go and where to go and how to go. You can't lead a country, so to speak. You're, stu you're stuck here. You're stuck in, in a perpetual slavery, okay, if you continue to allow yourself... To what? To, to lay yourself treasures upon earth. Where the Lord is uh, is is uh, promising us what real wit riches, wealth, money, uh, no gold, silver, okay, which is real wealth, cattle, gold. I mean, women, like slaves, uh, fame and glory, man. Yeah, also flame. yeah, You know, yeah. niggas always it's talk about the money. I just want the money. You can have the fame. No, the Lord, we're gonna get fame and we're gonna get glory. Can I add this too? And the Lord is offering us autonomy, freedom, okay. liberty. You know what the Lord say. The truth shall set you free. It starts with this, you know. The Lord is going to give us galaxies, planets. We can't. We can't even leave Babylon. Like bad off what you're saying. God. The Lord is, is going to allow us to lead a gal to lead a planet. God. You feel me? Like the Lord is offering us a lot of things, you know. So like, I just want to add on. No, 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 no. It's beautiful. Go ahead, bro. <clears throat> where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Mm -hmm. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Yeah, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Your mind, yeah. your lob. So our mind, our mind is continually on what pushing towards the mark, pushing towards the uh, the kingdom. Yeah. All right, we we are, we are not looking back. That's why the scriptures talk about remember Lot's wife. Okay, uh, symbolizing looking back on the on this former world. Mm -hmm. And when you really analyze it and look at it, it's nothing but just perverseness. When you can see the demons on these people, man, because all that. All, all that is here. Hey, bring that out. Uh, First Corinthians, uh, uh, two and fifteen. Come because it go, it goes into it. Go ahead. This Real is uh, Second Corinthians, uh, First Corinthians, two and fifteen. But he that is spiritual judges all things. That's like it. You know what? First John. Salak, Salak, Salak. Salak. Yeah, Salak. yeah, and that's why what are if your heart being being in heaven where your where your bank account should be, where your heart should be. Okay, 
You know, you you wouldn't be dissatisfied with just putting the same old nine to five. You want you want overtime. You know, <laughs> you get what I'm saying. That's extra credit yep. because you know it's gonna pay. It's it's gonna work to your your benefit when you see that check. You know. Yeah, and 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 it's not gonna be a wicked check. Nah, he's all gonna take out tax and shit. He's gonna tax you to tax you to to hell. Yeah, okay? he's gonna take your whole check. Pretty much, you work for free. Bring that out. Come on. This is our First John two and fifteen. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Yeah, that, and that, that means your mind is going to be in heaven. It's not. You're not going to try to lay up riches on earth. That's right. Okay. You, you're not going to put. Yeah, that's the spirit. You you're not going to love here, so you're not. You're going to put your love into something that you that you actually love, right? You know, you put put your. You, when you work into something, or you put you make a food. You make food. They say, man, you put love into it. You know, you put your passion into it. Yeah, you put your heart into it. So the Lord said, love not this world. You know, back in, yeah. So God, it's um. First John two and fifteen, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Neither the things that are in the world. Mm -hmm. Look, look what's in the world, man. man. Not, nothing really. It's Vanity. really, it's really nothing. I mean, to Vanity. a natural man, there's a lot of things in the world. There's, uh, there's, yeah. uh, 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 there's, there's glory to be, be, be made. There's women to be getting. There's money to be made. All right, you, you, Israelites are always talking about getting money. They what? They, what are they? What ultimately? What are they looking for? They, they're in the pursuit of happiness. Mm. That's exactly what we're in, man. We're in a, a spiritual pursuit of happiness. Yeah. We're just going to physically manifest when we're in the kingdom of heaven. When we actually get rest, we don't have any rest here. There's no rest here in America. Okay, even physical rest. Meaning, if you when you lay down, you wake up. You don't. You're not totally rested. You never. You never even took a deep breath in. You don't even. You never even experienced oxygen. How it's supposed to be. How it's supposed to be experienced. Okay, you never even experience smelling flowers like it's supposed to be experienced. You never experience sex like it's supposed to be experienced. Never experienced life. You never, ex yeah. you never, you never lived. Yeah. We have never, we have never lived. We have okay? yet to live. But in the kingdom to come, that's where we're gonna live. But right now, there's a job to be, there's a job to be done. Go ahead. God, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So, so ultimately, they don't love the Most High. Those that are that are dead set on trying to make it in this world did not did not did not uh, mm. uh, Satan did not Satan offer the world to Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Okay, so what does that mean? All power was given unto Satan at, for this particular time. Yeah. The prince of okay. the power of the air. The prince of the power of the air. He's in rulership right now. He told Yahweh Shai to bow down, and I will give you all these kingdoms if you bow down in front of me. So who really is in charge of this world? Who really is? Who really the spirit of this world? Who's in? Who's on this? Who has the spirit of this world, man? Mm. Satan. Mm -hmm. and, and and the majority of the spirit of the world is on these people. So if you have the spirit of the world, you're Satanist. Yeah. That's that's why you see full, people fully embracing Satan now. Like the, the artists that's out here and people just in general, you see them, anybody that has some type of so-called um, status, they just throwing up Baphomet and they just fully embracing it, saying like, yeah, I'm the I'm I'm Lucifer or I'm the devil or like I like I talk to demons this and that. They just they just fully they know what it is and they fully embraced it. They accepted the fact that yeah. they gotta you gotta deal with demons and you gotta be you have to be a demon yourself. Con, yeah, all these artists, you know, whether it be metal, whether it be rock, whether it be punk, whether it be hip hop, mm -hmm. you already know, hey man, you're gonna have to have your 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 symbol, your your um your logo. Be something to do with, with Satan. Yep. Your lyrics gonna have to do something with Satan. Your whole, uh, you know, um, when you go on stage, it's gonna have to be Satan. Yep. Yep. Everything you do is gonna have to be Satan if you want success. Yeah, you have to honor this God. Well, why you think when they get on, when they get them awards from all that shit they've been doing, who the first thing they think? I want to thank God. Who? What God? The God of this world? Damn. Satan. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Continue. God it says, uh, for all that is in the world. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes. Yeah, see that, man? The lust yeah. of the flesh and the eyes. A eye, carnal man. kingdom. You see that? Because, we, we, man, we be seeing all type of stuff, man, that, will, the that pleases our flesh. No, that's cool. It's cool. Just get your eyes because lust is you, Keep going. Keep going. Up. Yeah, can you read Can you read that again? Can you do that again? Okay, God. This is um, First yeah, John enough, 2 enough. and uh, 16. Okay. For all that is in it's the world. So all that is in the world. Go ahead. The lust of the flesh. The lust of the flesh. That's all that's really in this world is pleasing, pleasing the flesh. Go ahead. The lust of the eyes. The lust of the eyes. Okay. Pretty much going off your senses, being a brute beast. Yep. Going off uh, instinct like an animal. Okay. Animal sees uh, a, a, a tiger, sees a gazelle. He, he doesn't. He doesn't think in his mind. You know. I'm. You know. He doesn't. He doesn't do uh, planning. Okay. Mm -hmm. He. He just attacks. He sees that as he. He. He reacts as a wild animal. 
So that's ultimately what these people in the world, they react on what? A wild animal, the, the lust of the, the eyes and the lust of the flesh. God, yeah. and that's how we know it's going to be kind of cannibalism pretty soon. Because once these people start getting the hunger pains, hey. What God, are they gonna, what God are they going to uh, uh, trust in? What God are they going to call on? That God, that God's going to be gone. <laughs> He's not going to provide for you anymore. Satan's going to be gone. Satan's going to be laughing at you ultimately. Okay, continue. God, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride, pride of, of life. life. The pride of life, man. And the Lord's coming back to destroy the pride. You yeah, got something? Yeah, more on that? It's a I little just, bit more. Just want, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Finish that off. It's not the Father, but uh, it's not of the Father, but it's of the world. Yeah, it's not of the Father. It's not of the Most High. The Most High ain't with all this. The Most High ain't with all these women uh, uh, dressing all uh, provocative. Men, men dressing like women, okay. Uh, all this uh, uh, unlawful sex, okay. All this wickedness. The Lord ain't with that. He's suffering you people right now, mm. and it's going a, a great, a great. Uh, and then that's part. That's part of the uh, the movie. That's part of the plot. That is, men have to be inside the world, and he and the men have to be able to maneuver in this world and not be what, not be uh, 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 consumed uh, by consumed it. by it, water. Mm -hmm. Not be consumed by it. That's that's part of the story. That's part of the the saints overcoming. That's that's part of the that's part of the miracle right there, man. Come that's on, part man. of the, the version that we're not defiled, okay. The uh, the version that that had that that oil that kept that oil, okay. The seed that fell on the good ground, that 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 well and that good and faithful servant, okay. Everything ties into each other, man. Everything correlates the scriptures. It's all talking about that man that was able to what endure those afflictions, endure the lust of, of this kingdom, man. You know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just going back to after we finished off on what uh, St. Matthew, the sixth chapter, um, this is the precept to that. It's uh, 1 Timothy 6 and 17, once again. Charge them that are rich in this world, you know, with the God of this world is Satan. And you know what you have to get, you know what you have to do to get the riches of, the, of this world. You have to do some very demonic and defiling activities. All right, you have to defy your soul, ultimately. That's why the scriptures say what? What can a man give in return for his own soul? You know, I'm not quoting verbatim. All right, hey man, that's that's what if he's he gained the whole world and lose his soul. That's what yeah, yeah, about. yep. That's the that's the one. Mm -hmm. You know, because you got to demoralize yourself and deny your power to get status in this world and, and, and reverence Esau and his power, Satan. So it says, charge. Uh, 1 Timothy 6 and 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high minded because what's in the like we was going to that scripture the pride right. of life they high minded be proud nor trust in uncertain riches because mm. it's uncertain moths, moths and thieves be breaking in this all day and this dollar is the value in by the second it's only the only value it has is the faith you stupid ass people put into it God. So it says, um, and the faith of America is being lost. Yeah, it's dwindling, you know. Nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living power, <laughs> who in who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. Mm. He's giving us autonomy, <laughs> you know, and righteousness. See, Esau is giving us liberty. To to be well, he's giving them. You know, we're not partaking in it. He's giving it to us, but we don't we don't partake in it. You know, that's the difference. You know, as as for us, cause we serve we serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakudash. So Esau is given liberty to, to sin here, man. Alright? The Lord has given us liberty to be men and to do to do what we want to do in, in righteousness, man. Once we a hey, once we're doing what was required of us, man. Which really we're gonna do in the kingdom, we're gonna hey, we're we're gonna be 100% righteous. We're gonna worship Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, you know every. We're gonna. We can't go off. And then after that, what? We're gonna have women. We're gonna get the benefits of of being a, a, a servant of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, of being a, a Israelite, a Yasharala, you know, a prince of the power. You know, would you, you want to throw in there? Yeah, I, quick, yeah, I, I can tell. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 go. It's, uh, Matthew 6 and 24 No man can serve two masters For either he will serve the one and, and love the other Or else he will hold the one And despise the other And that's really what it is Like you were saying You can't You can't You gotta either serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Or you're gonna serve Satan mm -hmm. Cause that's what mammon is If you're chasing after money How are you gonna get that money? You're gonna You gotta You gotta worship Satan 
Cause who who's uh, who's in control of the money? How do you get to the money? There's like a there's a so called uh, uh like it's like it's a, a Yahweh Shai is the mediator to the Most High, the mediator for you getting to your riches that you're looking for. You gotta go through Satan, yep. which is which is Esau, which is Esau. The physical counterpart is Esau. And you so if you got you gotta you gotta bend over to Esau, man. Bow down to him and, and just worship his worship power. And do everything that he tell you to do, basically. Yeah. Which is fully, fully uh, submit, submitting and and giving the discontinuing from all your, all your all your ways, man. Not 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 acknowledging the fact that you're an Israelite, not even acknowledging the fact that you're a man. Yeah. You gotta just be. You gotta be real. You gotta lower yourself than the, than the most abased man on the earth. Gotta just to get the riches gotta, in this You gotta society. make yourself a vow a vow person. You cannot serve the most high and mammon. So you can't serve both masters. You can't try to, you can't be wishy-washy. You can't straddle the fence. Just like the scriptures say, you, can, you, gotta, you can't be lukewarm. You, yes. can't, you can't serve two masters. You got to either serve one or the other. The scriptures say, let's yea be yea or nay be nay. Yeah, you know, so, the, Lord, the Lord is cutting dry. Exactly. So you're either going to be serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai or you're going to be, you're going to be serving the Satan, man. If you, choose to serve, if you choose this world, you chose Satan. If you, if you chose to... To not be a part of this world, you choosing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and you have to you have to remain faithful to that. You know you can't just be be a fucking renegade ass. Yeah, you can't. Ain't no switching up. Because if you switch up, then you just out. You can't just be going back and forth. The Lord ain't with that. Yeah, let me. Uh, you is you finished on that? Yeah. This is back in uh, First Timothy, uh, chapter six, the point, verse seventeen, where I left off. It said, um. It says, charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living power who giveth us richly all things to enjoy, that they do good, that they be rich in good works. Okay? That's what we're being rich. That's what we're putting our money towards, man. Extra credit, overtime, whatever you want to call it, man. We're putting it towards the work of the Lord, man. These good works, you know? Like the Lord said, like Yahweh Shai said, none's good but, uh, but the Father. Yet the works we're doing are good, man. It's pleasing in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. And the Lord's making us good. The Lord's making us perfect, you know. And the Lord make the Lord is making good on His end, His word, you know. So it says that they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate, and that's talking about within the body, okay. Well, really, within the body, because we do these videos for the elect, the body. So, so it stays in the body, willing, willing, willing to, to, to do what we're doing right now, this work, and willing to, to communicate uh, amongst each other, man. You know, it's all about, hey, man, it's all about gathering together, being amongst the brethren, being, in, being in, uh, in the spirit, being in the word, you know, reading, uh, uh, watching the videos, making videos, you know, being in the spirit, totally, you know, locking in. Because literally, we all we have, and this word is all we have, man. It's the only thing we have in common. <laughs> you know? I mean, we have a lot of things in common, though. This is the main thing, you know? The love and the, sp and the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know? And we, we want to get the fuck out of here, man. We want, we want what the Lord is promising us. So it says, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come. Mm. This is deep, man. If brother want to go into it. Talking about them treasures in heaven. Oh. You're, we're laying up at the same time a defense because wisdom is, the, is a defense, okay? Money is a defense, so the spiritual money. Isaiah 33 and 6, okay? You know, us laying up our treasures in heaven is going to benefit us in the time to come, man. The time that we're, we're entering into, the time of Jacob's trouble, okay? The time of Esau's downfall, amen, this destruction ultimately, you know? Laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come that they may lay hold on eternal life. The Lord say lay hold on eternal life, man. Hold fast what thou already have. This faith, this faith in him, a gift, man. These riches that we have, man. Hey, man, Apostle Paul talks about the riches and the death of this knowledge, man. In in, in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So, so, man, it's just... We have to we have to hold this near and dear, man, for our uh, for our dear lives, because this is literally life or death, man. And, and, and man, if a hey, 
the scripture say in Hebrews 11 chapter, without without faith, man, it's impossible to please please him. So if you think you're just doing this for not, man, you are, you know. Your brother's got it. That, that was the so point. So far, you got a uh, scripture? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll end it up on here. God, it's mm -hmm. like Col uh, Col uh, Col uh, Colossians 2 and 7. Root it and build up there you go. in That's him the beautiful. and That's establish beautiful. in the faith yep. as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. <laughs> Mm. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after yeah. the tradition of man, after the uh, rudiments of the world, and not after the uh, yeah, Mashiach. Yeah, basically, man, not 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 uh, being grounded in the world mm -hmm. and letting, letting people overthrow you, man. But if you're grounded in this in these scriptures, you're grounded in Yahweh Shai. Satan, all Satan can do is just try to aggravate you. Yep. Okay. okay. No, I was going to say how, like, the brother, um, the, the, you know, the brother we were going into earlier when we was talking earlier, uh, the, the gates of hell uh, should, can't not should not prevail against the elect. So no matter, no matter, like, you know, what c comes against you or whatever, we're so, the elect are grounded so much that nothing is going to agitate you to the point of overthrow. Amos, the ninth chapter, you know, the Lord shall save the house, sift the house to Israel, um, you know. But not at least grain shall fall. Talking about the elect. Mm -hmm. The Lord, what did, what did, yeah, I wish I'd tell Peter, saying has a desire to sift thee, you know, but I pray for thee. Yeah, I wish I said I have lost none. Yeah. St. John the 17th chapter. Yeah. I love that. I love this. We love this, man. And, and how, how uh, <laughs> if, if it would all be possible, they show fool yeah. the very elect, but it's not possible. It's, it's not. not. It was, that's why it's, if, on, if it was possible, but it's not. It's not. God, and that's the spirit. That's why scriptures all say, um, don't be tossed in to and fro like everybody yep. else, Time. like the wind, you know? Because, hey, what does the world call these people who are, like, into the hype or into, like, uh, what's going Bandwagon. on? Bandwagon. That and mainstreamers. Yep. You already know. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, the mainstreamers are going to play whatever the mainstream is. They're easily influenced. What, is it, uh, what does the scripture talk about? It says, wide is, um, I'm saying, okay. follow, no, no, in Exodus, oh. follow not a, a multitude, multitude to do, do evil. evil. Yep. Yep. You see that? So there's many, it even talks about in in, um, in the book, I think it's sec uh, second, 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 Ezra, the fifth chapter or the ninth chapter, where it talks about many be created, only a few, only a few basically gonna make it. Yeah, many yeah. Be created for for, for death. Yeah, basically, basically. You're in vain. Many are yeah. created in vain, God. basically, because they gonna be they and gonna be perish. Few for the world to come. Yep. This the, the 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 few is talking about the elect, man. Okay, this this world right now is for everybody. Okay, this world is for everybody that wants to be wicked. That white gate, man. Yep, that white gate. Kind of, again, that's why the, the mainstreamers, you know, and mainstreamers going to come and go. It's going to be a next uh, artist in a couple years going to bring in all the new yeah. mainstreamers. Hey, we knock underground, all right? That's really what we are. We're indie. We're underground. Where the Lord is for the underdogs. You already know. Hey, man, if people want to come here, you got to have the exclusive invitation, and then, all right? Not only that, not only that, the Lord, he going to bring what's, what's base of this world. Okay, and he's gonna a confound. Thing. He's gonna confound the wise of this world. Mm -hmm. Meaning, it's no longer gonna be in a cut anymore. It's gonna be. It's gonna be out. The Lord said He's gonna give you fame and and, and fame and glory, glory fame. from all the the lands that you were scattered. Okay. So so that underground, so to speak, this truth is underground. Okay, it's esoteric, so to speak. Underground, it's gonna be made manifest to the whole world. All everybody's gonna see it. God and those spirit. What's classical music or what's like old school music? That was those hits. That were back in the day, and now they're still they're still popping to today. You know that's why it's called classical. You know because it, it never it never faded away, and that's what we are. We're classical. You know we never. Fade. Yeah, right. Akim Slaki the uh, Satan interfered. The, yeah, say pretty much Satan. Yeah, that that was the best. That's the best, best. way. To, uh, Satan interfered. So you know, hey Lord's will. You know brothers was edified with the with the lesson. You know, uh, keep enduring, man. Keep fighting, man. We you know Lord's will. We're part of that number, man. And that's what we're we're pushing toward. You can just endure everything that you're going through. And lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. Hey Amen. The, the Lord is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Okay. We, we hey Amen. We about to get paid. Yep. Big, so, the big payback. Yep. So with that, you know, we want to give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakal Kodash. Double honor to our apostle and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to Akim out there. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom to the elect. Shalom.